College Park is a quiet neighborhood in Orlando, Florida, populated by old and charming houses. They say in College Park no two houses are even remotely similar. It's this unique quality that draws so many to move here, making College Park a highly desirable location for home buyers. But not everyone agrees. You see, there's more to College Park than its unique houses or its quiet streets. In College Park, there's also a bunny. This is not just an ordinary pet store bunny. This is the Bigfoot of all bunnies, in size and elusiveness, terrifying its residents and keeping many away. Excuse me, excuse me sir, can we ask you a few questions? No, no thank you, it wasn't me, I wasn't there. Just say no, she told me she was 18. No, no, no sir, we'd like to ask you some questions about the College Park Bunny. Have you heard of the College Park Bunny? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I heard about him. I know all about him. Could you tell us about it? Do you know, have you ever seen him? All right, I'll tell you. I'll give you the exclusive. All right, so uh, I was walking one day, right? Minding my, own, minding my own business, right? Like I was doing today. So uh, out of the corner of my eye, in my periphery, I saw this, uh, this, this, uh... Bunny? Yeah, yeah, this uh, bunny. It was like half man, half bunny. Real mean. Real scary, too. How scary? Real scary. Did you go up to it? Oh man. Why? It wasn't bothering me. He was just standing there. Just standing there? That's it? No, no. He was, you know, um... He was eating leaves and stuff, man. Eating leaves? Yeah, yeah. You know, just going crazy, you know? Just crazy, you know, like when you're starving. Did he ever see you? Yeah, yeah, he saw me. Wow, and what happened? I mean, what'd he do? Did he get angry? Did he come after you? Nah, man, he got all scared. He tried to hide, but, you know, I, I can still see him, so whatever. You know, he panics and takes off running. A bunny takes off running? Nah, oh, man. You know what I mean, he, he sees me and uh, gets all scared and takes off, takes off hopping. Better? Uh, well, thank you very much for your time. You've been somewhat helpful. Uh, hey, hey, I just gave an exclusive. I'll take a check. about the myth of the College Park Bunny? It's no myth. Are you guys with the agency? Because I left like four messages. Uh, no, we're just doing a documentary on the myth of the College Park Bunny. It's no myth! I know how you guys work. You're testing me. This is all a test. Well, you know what? It's not gonna work. My story's not changing. I'm gonna tell you the same thing the last time I left the voicemail. This thing is real, it's evil, and it must be stopped. Okay, well, can you tell us about it? I just did. All right, well, what's he look like? Evil. What are you guys, new at this? This is gonna take forever. I should have known the agency wasn't gonna take me seriously. Probably sent you guys to get some on the field experience or something. Sir, like I said earlier... We're doing a documentary! Yeah, I know. Okay, 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 okay. So one day, I was laying down in my sofa. Were you sleeping? Did I say I was sleeping? No, I said I was laying down. And I know what you're getting at, and there was no way I dreamt this. No way. Sorry, go on. So I was laying down, on the sofa, still very much awake, when I heard this noise coming from my backyard. So I get up, and when I looked out the window, 
I saw it. It was the College Park Bunny. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, but uh, this is no bunny. No, sir. This was a monster. What was he doing? What do you mean, what was he doing? I mean, was he eating leaves? You guys don't know what you're talking about. This thing doesn't eat leaves. It eats people. And it was in my backyard. Looking for its next victim. I saw it. Crouch real low. You know. Look. So, what'd you do? I did what I had to do. I went to go kill it. You just went right up to it? Did it see you coming? Did it attack you? No! No, no! I didn't just go right up to it! What are you guys, crazy? So, what was he doing? Are you gonna let me tell my story? Sorry, go on. So anyway, it was standing in the corner of my yard with its back to me. I thought you said he was crouched down or something. Sorry, sorry, go on. So no, it wasn't crouched down or anything like that. It was just standing there. Just standing there. When I came up real quietly, and I just let him have it. I thought I'd kill it. Because nothing survives a beating like that. But when I looked back, the beast was gone. It vanished. So now I wait. All day, every day, waiting. That monster will want its revenge. And I'll be here, waiting. We were no closer to unveiling the truth behind the myth of the College Park Bunny than when we started our investigation. We had searched every corner of College Park for answers, for clues, for anything having to do with the College Park Bunny. And we had come up short. That is, until we met this woman. Hey, y'all! This is Annabelle Williams. She has been a resident of College Park for the past two years, and a friend of the College Park Bunny, she claims, during that same period of time. This is her story. So, Miss Williams, uh, tell us about the College Park Bunny. Oh, oh, child, he's no bunny. He's my money! He helps me around the house. Your money? Sure, that's right. My money. Because he's half man, half bunny, of course. Okay, so you said he helps you around the house? Sure does. He helps me with the laundry. Well, wouldn't that make him like a maid or something? Oh, child, that's not what I meant. He's no maid. He's my money, I told you. He sure do love my dog Lola too. The two of them just play for hours outside, just playing, you know. <sighs> Lola sure do love my money. And sometimes we'll even sit around and watch a movie together. A movie? Sure. We'll just sit around and watch a movie together and have a grand old time. <laughs> Sure do love that popcorn. Miss Williams? Hmm, yeah. Do you know when he's coming back? Oh, child, there's no telling when money's coming by. He just drops in and every time it's a big surprise. That's what makes it fun. Well, thank you, Miss Williams. Uh, you be sure to let us know when your money's coming back so we can have a chance to talk with him. Oh, I sure will, honey. I sure will. But uh, hold on just a second. Y'all leaving so soon? I'm fixing to make some brownies. Won't you stay for some brownies? We can wait for money together. There you have it. The myth of the College Park Bunny is very real. Though we never witnessed the bunny himself, we did meet several people who claimed they had. Unfortunately, their interviews did little to uncover the truth behind the myth. Who or what is the College Park Bunny? I suppose you need to live here to find out for yourself.
College Park Bunny, any last words? From the College Park Bunny? From the College Park Bunny? Pop. Peace. <laughs> all right so uh i was walking one day my mama oh, you. and uh out of the corner of my eye in my periphery <laughs> in my periphery you know <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, you're so good. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Let me go on.